So Kay's brought her horse in and he's actually approximately 16 months and we've worked with him over the past three days with the TLC to get him used to the halter, get him used to um, coming off the pressure, relaxation, etc. And then yesterday we did the tarp where we began to desensitize him with the tarp. Today we're focusing in on people and the fact that he's surrounded by people because we want to help him with the in-hand show. One of the concerns was that he can't handle people. So by putting people on the parameter of the round pen, it actually means that we've increased the energy. The mere fact that he's a horse makes his energy bubble about 10 times larger than any human being. So you're in his energy bubble. He will feel you and we're looking for him to be comfortable by the fact that you're in his energy bubble and you're bringing your own personal issues in here and you're bringing height, heightened awareness. And so we get a read on him there. And if he's comfortable with this, we're going to change it and we're going to add to it. And so what we want to make sure is he's comfortable with people approaching. And so we're going to ask people individually to approach. Let's start with Kay. So Kay, you'll go up in your own normal way and see how he handles an approach. And Sarah can guide you if she needs to or if she feels uncomfortable. But we're going to have different approaches from different angles, getting him comfortable with people. Then you'll retreat. And actually, I don't know everybody's name, but we'll have the next person just come up and what we're looking at is different shapes and sizes, different approaches. Some people will stare them right in the eye. Some will have hats on and although it's not the right attire, it would be normal wear. And he hasn't had any men approach, so we're looking at his response to men. And Caroline, come on in on that side too. And then Karen come in immediately with Caroline and so that he has multiple people starting to approach and see how he feels about multiple people. So we want to be respectful of our approach and some of you may even stay a little longer there so that we have you staying there and I'll bring you in also if you can come up. So if we have some mistakes of coming in too fast or coming in with the eyes up on eyes it won't matter because that's the reality that people will come in quick and they won't pay attention to the way they pet, how they pet. So he did jump but he was okay with it and that's exactly what's going to happen and you can just stay there and just sort of linger. <laughs> And lingering's not bad either because he's going to have to tilt the head and see him. We'll stay here. Nancy, come in from the rear, but don't go into the kick zone. So make sure you're safe. And you could approach on the other side that he has two people this side and he has you on the other side. And come on in as well and come and pet him. So now we will have about five people pretty close. And he's cautious because the ears are going either side, so he's cautious, but he's not doing anything other. All four feet are on the ground, so he's pretty comfy. And we have males that he's never met before, because he hasn't had males in his life, with hats, without hats, different smells, different strokes, different energy. And we're going to have um, Walter come in as two, and we're going to just have everybody, and maybe all pet him simultaneously. You guys are good because you can read horses. This will be our first approach. Believe it or not, he's never had this. And we take him straight back to that area and we do it again. And what we're reading is how long he can tolerate it for. And in the same vein, say when it gets a bit too much, you just need to stand and tell us, but not move forward. And we come in again. And Sarah, talk to your guys if you see or feel anything. Good job. And then everybody can leave and go to the edge of the round pen. First stage. So we're bringing in the umbrella and this would also be a real piece. And what's nice about this is he's going in at an angle so that um, he can be seen and we have an umbrella and so we've still got the energy of all the people in this round pen and at the same time the innocence of the public would be to approach a horse with a, either a sun umbrella or a rain umbrella and just come up to them and there you see a degree of anxiety build but we're setting up success which would mean we work as a team to say how do you feel about the umbrella And hopefully you heard that snort. So he's reaching out, just snorting a bit, and that just tells you he doesn't know an awful lot. And he's learning it. So Nancy, why don't you come in there too? 
just with the view that there's going to be people coming up to spy the umbrella and go, oh, nice horse, and petting him as Sarah's standing there. And we, again, we've got the crowd coming up. And Kay, why don't you come up from behind? Again, you've got to make sure he sees you. And feels comfortable with it. got Caroline so we've got people coming in and out now and I don't know everybody's name so my apology but do come on in and out as though it's a normal natural flow now of of advance and retreat Sarah you're the one best reading him so you just got to make sure you're okay nice one Nancy coming behind and so this is the blind area back here and he's going to have to move his head to see her. So let's stand right behind as we film this so that he can get used to it with people moving back and forth and somebody in the blind area while people are approaching. Nice. There are a lot of horse people here, and it's funny how many people you need to train a horse. I'm going to bring the bike in. You can go in and okay. cycle around and come out. That's Walter and his cycle. <laughs> and we did choose the round pen as a place of safety. The fitting's good and it also means that um, we can keep him in one place before we go out on the road. And so this is kind of neat to see him having to deal with multiple stimulus where he gets a little concerned because it is multiple stimulus and to let him know that he's okay. But the halter work leading up to this is key so that he understands how to back, he understands how to come back, and he understands how to settle with the head drop. So influencing the feet backwards brings him back into his body and into his mind, and by getting the head drop will get him calmer and calmer to the situation. What you don't want is the stimulus to be so big that he can't handle it, but in the same way, and this is reality, that things are going to happen and he's in a safe place. And everybody has an important role, so riding with ease, riding smoothly, the closer we get with the cycle, the more pressure, the further away with the cycle, the least amount of pressure, the speed of the cycle would influence him, and these are all the things you have to give thought to when you do these exercises that I like horsemen involved so that they understand the psychology of the horse. And you see Walter watching the horse and reading the horse. We've worked with him for years with Sarah, and this is the key that he reads the horse and he doesn't push him over the edge. While at the same vein, we've got somebody walking here with this umbrella and we've got the stimulus going on. The licking and chewing lets you know that he is processing the information. The head drops that he puts in lets you know that he can get the adrenaline down. He cannot have adrenaline when the head's down. He can when he's in flight mode with the head up. And so this allows you to know that ears are paying attention to Walter. Sarah's job is to keep her energy down, to breathe properly, and to influence his feet while he can. Now you saw him just look over the left shoulder and that's because Savannah's coming, that's another horse. And so when we get in the blind area, it's good to be conscious of that, but at the same time, keeping the rhythm is kind of nice. We're looking for um, Evan to settle and and it's all about the settling so he may go through different emotions and he may be concerned with the blind area but you're looking for him to settle more and more and that's what we're looking for so yes if he ends up pouring responding we don't want to be reacting we want to be responding 
and we want him to know and trust in our leadership that everything is okay. Do you think he can handle another bicycle? Yeah. yeah? You're going to make a big circle, big circle round the side, not a small circle. And Sarah will talk to you, so make it bigger than Walter, please. So we've got the, the bicycle with the child seat at the back. And remember, horses see in pictures, so they see the different images. And he's got the focus of the two. This one's pretty close back there. And he's got the, the focus stroke distraction of the two to figure out what he's doing. And we want the middle to be, remain a comfort zone. And so he's comfortable with it and not a zone of pressure. So we're also reading that and how he's breathing in this situation. So Savannah Bell, beautiful girl, I've known her for years. We're just going to change it up a tad. We're going to put her in if we call this 3 o'clock and 12 o'clock the gate. So she's going to be just standing in at 3. And so that also means it's realistic. At a horse show, there's going to be horses. So we've got her aiding, and she's solid. She's young, but she is solid. And you've now got this aspect in there too. And Kay's looking pretty happy so far. <laughs> so Caroline, who did an amazing job today with her horse, is coming in with the umbrella, sun umbrella, and the stroller. So we now have her here on the edge going counterclockwise, while we've got these guys going clockwise. And we've got Evan dealing with it, people chatting on the side. <laughs> Love this piece. Really chilling out over here, and a horse there on our left side. Now behind me, I'm just going to go behind me too. We are so resourceful. We're bringing in some vehicles that are moving by us at the same time. So we have the noise, we have the motion, and we're creating the scene as best we can for Evan to be as comfortable as possible. Picking up the speed, she's going to come out with the stroller at a normal speed, sort of disregarding the horse and come out at what's realistic. So we've got Savannah looking, and we've got the boys safe, and that was the key, and then they're gonna to continue to circle around. And he, all he needed to do was move his hips to see her. That's what he was looking for, is moving his hips to see her. And we truly want him to move the, the hips in rhythm rather than having to spook, but ultimately he's doing an amazing job here. So Walter's coming in on the side there and reenacting this piece to say, hey, can I pet your horse? And we want Evan to know that it's okay that people on these metal horses are good to pet him.